I'll say this. The music business is ran by the devil. So the music business is only designed to get as many people to go away from God as possible. So what happens is the devil needs workers. And by workers, he needs people who have influence, who can mislead or misguide people away from the light into the darkness. So this is why the artist is powerful. So the artist is the mouthpiece. Okay, that artist is the mouthpiece between the devil and the fan. And the artist's job is to get you to throw up these weird signs. Mm. What are you doing this for? This is the bot for me. I don't fuck with this. So don't think I'm throwing this up because I, I don't fuck this. Mm. I'm just showing you when you see these signs, when you see the checkerboards, when you hear them talking about demon time and drill and kill and all this shit. Even the actual beat and the BPM, it's all 808 drums. This is all low vibrational shit. So what happens is the artist is only the tool used to push the message of the devil. It's a spiritual war. So what happens is in order for that artist to be in position to even mis get, mislead the people, they have to be worthy. This is hazing. This is the hazing aspect of it. So when you look at colleges, you look at fraternities, you have to be hazed in order to get and to, to pledge to be a pledge a in order to in order to climb the ladder in the music industry you have to be hazed and when you're getting hazed you can that is more hazing they gotta yes do. because it's more it's, it's more you gotta people listen and I'm, it's not about being a conspiracy theorist god said this my people will perish due to lack of knowledge all right just look at the name of your show so you gotta do the science you gotta have knowledge wisdom and understanding you gotta look. You gotta look at what's going on, so you understand the purpose of it. Yeah. Yes, if you're in a fraternity, right, and or you're in the army, or you you whatever it is, there's a, there's there's levels. Mm -hmm. You can't get if you're a police officer, a sergeant. They got stripes on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They got stripes for reasons. Them bars represents years, nigga. Mm -hmm. You heard? Yeah, yeah. So in order for you to climb this ladder, every ladder of success, there's a level of hazing attached to it. Mm -hmm. These are the rituals. But they're evil and satanic because the whole industry is ran by the devil. I didn't say you can't be successful. You just can't be successful in the music industry and still keep your soul. You can't go to hell and say, hey, I'm bringing my AC. You feel me? That's the rite of passage to get to the next level of witchcraft, magic or whatever that is. And the reason why I expose it, not because I'm trying to be the cool motherfucker, is I want black people to understand that. We have to stop letting these other people from not in our culture dictate how we create artists. If you if you look, don't look at the video, look in the video. You'll see the programming. If you go any video you watch, you just pause the video and you look, you look in the video. You look, look, look. The colors, the backdrop, the signs, and pause it frame by frame. You see it, it's right in front of you. It's right in front of you. Me, I can say it because I believe in God. I didn't sell my soul. There's no skeleton in my closet. That's why they hate me. I can speak about it. You see? Because I said no. I said no. I said no to the devil. You heard?